So let's open up one of your files. I'll make a new window here, Microsoft Windows Explorer, and go to one of the things I've just opened up for you. Let's open up poster face quotes May 4th into Adobe Illustrator. That, by the way, is here. If I right click and I show where it's at, you will have a folder that has Casio Bodywork, the AI, Adobe Illustrator files. And it's right there. So once that opens up, I have the colors that are fills, the outlines that I've used in this whole design. On the right side, you'll see a bunch of eyeballs. Those are the layers. You can turn them off or turn one on at a time. The locks are so you can't move things around or draw them. That's the colors. I could probably lock that as well. The little face that you have, I can lock that. But now, if I click on this arrow, we have all the text in the different areas. See how they all disappear? So if you just want to change a date, use the arrow up here, the V tool selection, you press the V key. Click on the date you want to change. And we can put August 12th, right? Whatever you want to put. And now there's rectangle around it. You don't want to resize it. You don't want to move it, not really. It's pretty much good where it's at. If you want to, you can actually use the arrow keys to move it. Control plus on your keyboard to zoom in. The space bar to turn into a hand. Don't let go and move around. And then you could place this a little bit more to your liking. See how it says baseline and all this other stuff, anchors. It's looking, if I press Control y for outline form, all the coincidences in between the design layout, the things that line things up. So let's open up character. Let's pretend that's not open. Properties isn't open. Appearance, nothing's open. Paragraph. I want to see what typeface this is. I go to uh, Window, Type, Character. This is Futura CE Lite. How about the thicker one? Futura CE Medium. How about that one? Same thing, except it's 38 point size. This is 16. So you want to remember Futura CE Medium, Futura CE Lite. Then, inside of a folder on your computer, I think I've already given it to you or I've already installed it, or you can. There should be a font folder called Futura. And inside of it are all these fonts. You can simply right click, hi, uh, click and drag till they're blue. Right click and install them. They might already be installed, which is no big deal. That's fine. But now you'll have those typefaces. So if you open up an Illustrator file that somebody gives you and they give you fonts, you should install them. One important thing, the fonts should always stay in the same place. So they can't be in like downloads or a project in your desktop folder and you move it. It has to be in a part on your hard drive that you might never move. So on the C drive, this PC, your main drive, what if you made a folder, right click new folder, true type font, zero, zero, true type font. You could always put your fonts in here and then install from there. So you would have, uh, we'll go backwards. It's where we were. We have all these fonts. Let's see where that one font is right there. Right click. So say we wanted these fonts. We don't want those, but we do want these right here. So we highlight those wherever you get them from the internet, a friend, whatever. And then you can put them in your C drive. True type font. You can paste them in there. Then you can install them from there. That way the computer, every time it turns on, it knows where these are. You don't move things out of downloads, etc., whatever. I do have a program that I gave you called uh, Font Expert. And Font Expert, if you go to the folder that I just made, you will see all the fonts. You can even type in a demo right here. Kundalini, or in all caps, Kundalini. Then you could scale it and take a look. Uh, it's the font I want. You can right click and install it. If it's already installed, it's like, hey, 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 it's already installed, don't do that. See? So you don't have to do it twice or make a mistake. Let's go back. Control zero. 
control Y for the outline. Let's save this. Save this as August, or I call it 08 12 2024. Poster. Don't worry about these settings, that's for compatibility with older systems. Now, the next thing you want to do is press Control Y. Make sure everything else is locked down. And now you highlight, if I zoom in, Control plus plus plus, all the text by clicking and dragging. And then go to Type, Create Outlines. It's no longer text, it's a vector outline. And that means it'll look the same but somebody that's a printer that you give this to doesn't have to have the fonts. It turned it into a drawing. Highlight all the text, object, uh, type, create outlines. Same thing up here. Object, type, I should say, create outlines. Now, it's all outlines. Control Y to go back to design. You don't have to do it with pictures. You don't have to do it with any of this stuff. But now you can file, save as, save as, and instead of an illustrator file, click here and make a PDF, Postscript, Postscript data file. So you can print it out at a printer. And you go to Cassia, maybe renders, it's where I like to put the PDFs, the renders, and then put it there, 812 2024 poster. It will ask you the same kind of questions. Uh, compression, the images, grayscale images don't down sample, so it looks nice. It's gonna be a big file, but you can save it because that's a big printout right there. One last thing you can do if you make a design that you like, you can go to File, Export, Save for Web. In Save for Web, this is a big screen, I have to shrink this down so you can see it. Uh, Save for Web allows you to make a JPEG for the web, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. So for the web, most screens aren't more than like two to 4,000 pixels, so you don't really need that many pixels, but you need to read it because there's text. So it's taller than it is wide. So how about height? We do 300 dots per inch times 10. 3,000 by 2250. That's good for printing, right? It takes a second, longer on your laptop. And now you can see the quality of what it would look like. That's gigantic, but it's good to print. So if we save it, we can save it in renders as 812 2024 poster JPEG, if we save it as a JPEG. If you want to save it smaller for Facebook or Instagram, you could also do the same thing, export, save for web. And maybe for height, put a thousand pixels maximum and then click somewhere else. It'll render it in a second and then you can save it. And then the poster, you can put dash Facebook or dash smaller. And that's it.